Hello, and welcome to a basic Java tutorial series. We are going to cover eight different topics within this series that will prepare you to understand the basics of the Java programming language. I've chosen eight different topics to introduce you to the language. There are many, many specific topics in Java that could help um, build your knowledge on this uh, language, but I think these concepts will help give you a good understanding of how to write code in Java, and then uh, you can take these examples to um, extend them and, and write your own assignments from these lessons in order to um, make sure that you grasp the concepts. We're going to be covering primitive data types, which are the basic building blocks of Java. You can assign variables to these different types, and we'll go cover um, how this plays into writing a program, that it takes up different sizes of memory, and you can use these types for different things. We'll also cover strings in Java. This is a very basic data type as well, it just deals with um, a series of characters, so any word that you actually want to write and deal with that text. Uh, string is a very useful and commonly used uh, feature in Java. We will also go over loops in Java, uh, the while loop, and the do while loop, these are specific types. We'll cover, there's also a for loop covered within um, various assignments here that I've uh, gone over. And there is a case statement, which is another way of controlling the flow of your code. Um, we'll go over that so that you can understand what types can be used within it and how uh, it can be used within your program. Arrays we'll cover, which are a list of uh, different values and how you use those, how you can um, use those in a single dimensional array and then also a double uh, dimensional array. Um, a two dimensional array would be like a table row of rows and columns. You could expand that to three dimensions but we'll cover two in this concept to give you just an idea of how they can be used. And then object creation which goes into the fundamentals of a Java object oriented concept. How you can create an object um, and multiple objects using um, the syntax you use and um, a constructor which is the uh, method inside a class that um, gets run when you create a new instance of that object. So we'll go over those concepts here as well as method overloading. Um, this is a concept in Java that will um, allow you to use the same name for a method um, but use it different ways. And that's an important concept to go over as well. And then static um, members and methods. The word static is uh, in, related to that instance or um, object-oriented concept, but static would would be the opposite. Static would be something that doesn't have or relate to one object or just relates to an individual class in Java. So I think after we go through these different topics, you will be much more familiar with the Java programming language and these eight basic topics that um, are pretty commonly used and fundamental in your understanding of the language. So um, I invite you to um, get uh, excited about the Java programming language. It's a um, it's a very fun language to program in. Um, there's a lot of up and coming uh, technology that uses Java, and uh, it's a very useful tool uh, in programming, and you can do so many different things with it. And so it's very important to grasp these basic and early concepts so that you can um, build on that and learn more advanced concepts and um, doing web-based development um, at a future date. At the end of each of these uh, lessons or episodes, I will ask you to um, fill out or answer a series of questions that I have placed on the website. There will also be an assignment that will ask you to write 
a Java class that is to perform a specific action. And these questions and the assignment will test your knowledge of these episodes and sometimes ask you to expand that um, in thinking about how you might use it um, in a different case and challenge you uh, to do that. So expect at the end of each episode um, five questions that will cover what was talked about in the episode and then an assignment that will test your knowledge of those concepts as well.